Hello. I thought I'd do a quick update on the ink plugin. Uh, so I've more or less done the conversion, but I'm having a, a little bit of a problem with a couple of little things. So uh, let's have a look. So here I've got just an empty note. I'm going to add, can I slash? No, I can't slash. I'm going to add a uh, drawing. And one of the problems I was having was that if I edited this drawing and then I locked it, it wouldn't refresh the SVG that was displaying. So this wouldn't appear. So I fixed that by monitoring the file changes and appending a modification date to it just so that it forced a refresh. Anyway, if I edit this now, it always refreshes the SVG that's showing. That has a benefit that fixed something else that I wasn't going to fix until a lot later. Um, so if I add another one here, oh no, let's not do that. Let's go uh, copy this drawing and I'll lock it. And then I'll add a copied drawing here, ink copied drawing, and I'll go reference the existing one. So it's linked to the same file as this. And notice I can make it a completely different size if I want. Right. Uh, but now, if I edit this, as soon as it saves, it propagates up here. So now your drawings will sync automatically. They won't, if I keep drawing, they won't sync immediately because it doesn't save until you've stopped drawing for a, a few seconds. But then it does save. So that's really handy. That's, re that's a, a, a nice little solve that I didn't even intend to do, but it was a byproduct of solving this other problem. Um, let's add another one, uh, handwriting. So if I do some handwriting here in my usual style, um, and I lock that and I'll do it well, no, I'll unlock that and I'll copy that and I'll do the same thing here. So copied handwriting reference existing file. Now you'll notice that this creates a little bit of an issue that I do not care about. Um, but you'll see the issue. If I copy, if I reference these two files and then I add to this bottom one, when I finish writing, it's going to add to the top one and it's going to move everything down, which could be a little bit annoying. I'm not concerned about that because I don't see why anyone's duplicating handwriting like this. If they are, it's few and far between. So it doesn't worry me. I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole for a very long time, unless someone says it's really bothering them for a really important reason. Now, what is causing me issues? There's one issue that's being a pain in the butt. Uh, let me close this and reopen it again. So I'll reopen whip area. And notice how this is showing as an SVG, or this is showing as my plugin controlled SVG. So it's styled, uh, which means it's got that frame. And then if I keep scrolling down, notice here, this one's got the frame, but this one here doesn't. It's turned into a standard Obsidian SVG. So for some reason, far enough scrolled down the list hasn't uh, been populated with my React component, even though I've now scrolled it into view. Usually it, it populates it as it's about to scroll into view. But you can see all of these haven't done that. Now, this will get fixed if, and I think it just happened then, or if I click here and I hit space, it actually fixes them. It kind of forces a refresh. So I might not fix that straight away because it is, you, it can be worked around, but that's an issue that I'm having that I haven't even tried to address yet. I'm not sure how to address it yet. So if anyone's got any thoughts, please let me know. Another one is, now notice this scroll bar. If I scroll up, when I get to this really long one, notice how the scroll bar jumped down and now the page is jumping down and it's actually quite hard to scroll up because sometimes, and this is even worse on my iPad, this is a really long embed and it's just getting confused with the resizes of things as it refreshes stuff coming into the scroll view. I'm not sure how to fix that either. I do know that uh, just for reference, if you're problem solving this for me, 
if I turn off the ink plugin and now it's just showing the SVGs without my plugin, I don't seem to have that issue. So that's the big long one and it scrolls by just fine. So there's something that I'm doing in the plugin or maybe it's just the fact that it's in embed. No, because I think an SVG would probably be an embed, a native Obsidian embed, but uh, there's something that's happening in the plugin and that embed that's causing that to happen. Um, so I need to figure that out. Um, maybe that's a matter of not using React for that SVG embed. Maybe I can do it with standard CSS and the SVG tag. Maybe I'll try that. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm still working on all this stuff. There's some painful issues that I've been going through, um, but it's progressing and thanks for joining.